friend. Brothers and sisters, are you ready for today's most spectacular, spine tingling, earth shattering contest? On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cole Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Farag! Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone. On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say, whatever. And so, let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge begin. Quick, let's help him. Oh, brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events. Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon. It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you. And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. You're welcome! Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion. The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable. But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fists of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the iron skin of Team Robomatic. I can take them on my own, you know. Oh, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Oh, what a beautiful performance! Cold Dragon Young and his last minute admirers emerge victorious! Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? <sighs> Forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. Let's get after him. That guy can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby. Just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And anywho, if I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. Say that you saw us in there and got scared, so you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, <laughs> my friends. What do I have to fear? <laughs> Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. Set him up? <laughs> yeah, with a job. You guys are new here, and let me tell you, you're gonna need some cash. And Sampo Koski stops at nothing to help his friends. 
Saving you was just the beginning. I have to consider your finances, too. With me, you get the full service, folks. That's friendship. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Hmm. So it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? <laughs> Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. You win! I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Because you're looking for something? Why are you asking? Dan Hung told me you guys were searching for a... What's that? Stellaron. Sounded pretty powerful. If anyone has a clue on its whereabouts, it'll be Wildfire. You said I'd uncover a clue if I became the Fight Club champion. Uh, uh yeah. I mean, I if you fought in the final round and won, you'd have incredible street cred right now. Wildfire wouldn't think twice about talking with you. I don't see the problem. Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch, of course. Wildfire has no reason to help you yet, so we'll just have to give them one. With your talents, we have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, no matter where you go, there's only one rule to getting things done. Find the demand. You know, like supply and demand. Anyway, the underground has been sealed off for more than a decade, but do you think people here are just resigned to their fate? Well, if you want my opinion, they're a bunch of artless, stubborn fools. But who cares what I think, huh? They're a band of do-gooders who sprung up to maintain order in the underground after the Silvermane guards withdrew, Wildfire set up shop. Still, don't underestimate them. We walk in the presence of giants. Have you heard that saying before? Well, Wildfire has giants in its midst. You'll see. Have a little faith. It's like I said, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. 